But the other day on the show, someone who I did compare to Arnold Schwarzenegger and who I did say have a chance of winning was Matthew McConaughey. Um, again, he's obviously a very charismatic nice. guy. Um, if you've seen any movie he's in, you know that. All but right, weirdly, all right, all right. weirdly, I've been paying attention to McConaughey, um, kind of his his public presence online and stuff. And I have to take it back. I have to take it back. I do not think Matthew McConaughey is nearly as compelling or charismatic of a public presence as I predicted he would be in this kind of a role. In fact, it's really coming off as awkward as fuck and extremely out of touch so far. Um, every time I've seen him put out a clip or put out a statement, uh, it, it comes off as if he's like, like, I, I don't know, man. Pandering? We'll, we'll yeah, pandering, but also like he's just out of touch and doesn't really know what to say or what to do. And he's just like pretending to run for something or pretending to gear yeah, up. Dude, for he's a trying to give his life meaning because he's rich as fuck and he has a bunch of money and he's like, all right, what's going on now? And also, like, I am not the kind of guy that says that at all thinks politicians need to be, you know, wearing suits and ties or whatever. But this dude literally looks like he just shopped at fucking American Eagle and is showing up to his first day at high school or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, he looks like he's trying to dress like a fucking high school. Hi, kids. I'm one of you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm yeah, he looks like he's in a Levi's fucking commercial right now. Yeah, exactly. And I wanted to play this to just demonstrate what I'm talking about. Uh, okay. Because, again, currently Matthew McConaughey is like 10 points ahead of the incumbent. Um, governor in Texas, so he's certainly um, seemingly the front runner. And I think that's is- just an indictment of our celebrity culture, right? Our deification of all people who are a known exactly. quantity. I also think it's an indictment of the establishment politicians like Greg Abbott, uh, who opened the door for for people like Matthew McConaughey to come I in. I think both with, of those things are true. With absolutely no substance and still win a race based on your personality, because you know if there was a really strong and, and popular. Uh, governor who had actually done right by the people. I don't think a challenge like this would be nearly as possible, right? Yeah. You know, if Greg Abbott wasn't just some fucking m- milk toast, m- fucking sellout piece of shit, then you know someone like Matthew McConaughey couldn't just come in here so easily and be like, "I'm the new governor." You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm a new sheriff. In so hand. I think it's also really an indictment of just how bad uh, our politicians are, uh, you know, and how for granted that's taken. But um, yeah, just take a look at this because this is just a, a short clip he posted to Twitter. So I'm not trying to like overanalyze it or whatever. But like, if this is at all a preview of what we have to expect from a, a McCona- McConaughey political agenda or, or or whatever, then count me the fuck out, man, because I am so sick of this kind of fucking rhetoric. Best I can tell is, is that the common denominator that is bipartisan, that is that can be scaled across humanity is values. You can be whatever color, shape, size or you want to be, but we all need to share a common set of values. Let's, 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 let's be fair to each other. Let's be friendly. Let's be optimistic. Let's be respectful to ourselves, respectful to other people. Let's be accountable. It's not like cheat and steal. Let's look after ourselves. Let's look after each other. We're all writing our own book, you know? Every like or dislike or, or thing we send out or thing we choose not to send out or share. It's being recorded. <laughs> what book are we writing? I guess is the question. Values. Uh, values. He thinks he's so insightful. It's like a weird, like mix of cliches and like inspirational speech. Dude, cliche, it's like he you know? fucking yeah, dude. He's so it's like he auditioned for a role where he was gonna play like uh, Tony Robbins or some shit, and then he was like got a lot of that shit floating around, and he's like. Let me tell you about something that we yeah. all share. Values. Values. <laughs> and let's be kind to one another. Let's be respectful to ourselves <laughs> and to others. Let's 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 be good, folks. Let that why don't we all agree on that? What's what's yeah. wrong with that? Let's just get back to the good. Let's get back to the good. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he come off as weirdly kind of like out of it and uncharismatic for someone who who does come off as very he's tr- i think he's trying to play a character that's like very like chin strokey because i think he's definitely approaching this like an actor which i think is really interesting to watch from a sociological perspective like he is playing the part of somebody who's running for office in his mind i think and so he's trying to behave like somebody that really? he thinks that people want to see that's the way i'm reacting to this because i think that me, he comes off like he's just like he's not even looking at the camera this is not does not come off as someone running for office to me it comes off as 
you know, just someone right, mumbling because in their he's, room. He's completely oh. delusional. But what he thinks the people want is somebody who's reasonable. He thinks he, what people want is somebody who's going to say these things as if like nobody's ever thought or said these things before because he's so in his own space. So he's like, he's like, why doesn't somebody just run to run for office and just like tell people that we should all love each other and get along and, and right. be friends and respect each other. It don't matter what size, shape, color you are. As long as you don't fuck with taking my money and let me keep making all the money I want to make. Also, that size, shape, color comment reminded me of that of that like uh, cliche that you always hear like low key racist people say, where they're like, "I don't care if you're purple, brown, yellow, green, or orange. I love every." You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah dude, it's hella crunchy. Color. It has that same vibe. And but I don't know, man. Like I, I really expected him to come out here with some more like Matthew McConaughey Texas energy and yeah. be like and make more of a, a case for. Uh, anti-partisanship because there is a case to be made for that you know we have democrats we have republicans and neither of them are representing the will of the people why don't we have legal weed why don't we have universal health care you know you can run that kind of campaign and make a cogent argument uh using that kind of language but this is completely substanceless it's just like we got to stick to our values and be empathetic and like we got to treat each other better it's like well you're not going to be able to affect that change this dude makes cory booker speeches look dense Again, and you're not going to be able to affect that kind of change as governor. As a governor, you have the po power to affect policy change, not this kind of like eth uh, ephemeral, cultural, societal, value-based bullshit. Like that's not what a governor does. You're literally passing policies which are either helping people or hurting people. So are you going to hurt people or are you going to fucking help people? Like w w what's policies do you support? What's your agenda? What do you, w like what's your economic philosophy? Are you a fucking libertarian? Are you a socialist? Which way do you lean? These are the kind of things you would want to know. Not just, I think everyone should be nice to each other. Like, I like good job. people and I don't like bad people. All right, all right, all right. And seemingly so far, the literally the, the the strongest political stance he's taken is that he's in favor of wearing masks. He was like going around during the pandemic and doing some like like, you know, pro mask events, which I guess is a radical stance in Texas. But like, I, I don't know, man, that, that's not a very impressive uh, bar to me. Like, I mean, good job. You 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 agree with the basic medical consensus. And uh, like I mean. Like I'm not gonna celebrate it's that. It's kind of like Andrew Yang when he had that super cringy moment when he was like, "Gay people are so human." It's like as opposed to fucking what guy? <laughs> like, oh, what the fuck else would they be? Dogs, monkeys? What the fuck is the matter with you? Get the fuck away from me! Like yeah. this, it's again that like weird. You're trying to like say something that's insightful and like would play well at like a Google fucking conference in Andrew Yang's <laughs> mind, and yet you're like, oh yeah, these people are are so warm and and human, and it, it's just like okay, like of uh, yeah, yes, that, that's uh, that should go without saying, like. It pisses me off that you said that because of, that's like a given. Like next, you're going to tell me that like immigrants are humans too. Like, right. Anyway, I guess the main takeaway from this, and it's just something I've been noticing, not just in this video, but in others too, is that McConaughey is just a much more awkward campaigner or politician than I ever would have expected. Again, coming from a, a like a charismatic actor, um, someone who's undeniably, uh, you know, a hell of a on-screen presence. Um, it, it just really does blow my mind how unnatural and out of touch this is coming off. And it does lead me to believe that he's going to end up squandering that 10 point lead he currently has. Cause uh, I mean, if this keep continues, they're absolutely going to be able to paint him as an out of touch uh, celebrity, which he is to be fair. So, you know, again, if you're not going to embrace actual policies and champion, you know, polis populist issues again, why the fuck aren't you talking about legalizing cannabis? Aren't you the fuck? You're like one of the biggest icons in stoner culture. Uh, why aren't you talking about how, you know, the Republicans and Democrats, we all want this and the government. Are you not talking about the fact that your entire fucking state lost power? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So I don't know, man. Uh, obviously, it's not like I'm sitting here saying like, oh, Matthew McConaughey is disappointing me. I had really high hopes for this campaign or whatever. Uh, all I'm saying is that uh, when I heard that he was running, my initial reaction was, oh, well, he's definitely going to win because Matthew oh, McConaughey yeah. is likable as fuck. And, you know, he's Matthew McConaughey. But it just really has been surprising to the extent to which he's kind of failed to, to generate any sort of a charismatic or uh, any substance at all in his in his campaign so far. So I'm interested to see how that goes. We're going to keep roasting it for sure if it continues in this vein. Yeah. Um, but but certainly something to keep an eye on. And again, I just can't get over his fucking fashion choices either. Like if you look at him in other in other videos and photos too, it's Looks so like he's on the prowl for some high school girl. Yeah. Man. <laughs>